Hello everyone, I will begin this talk with how are you and I hope you're doing well. Education is a key to success, but will it be success if we're in the middle of pandemic? I know most of us is enjoying going to school normally like we can meet with our friends, we can have a face-to-face conversation with them, but that change. One morning we woke up and we're forbid in doing everything and we can get out from our den. COVID-19 happens. It throws everything we know as best practice in education. It's not the first time that our education has been interrupted, but it's the first time that it happened globally and we cannot predict when it will be over. Minister of Education, educators, researchers, students, parents, and everyone worldwide were affected with this pandemic and our education seems so hopeless. But luckily, we have an innovation. We have this what we call a distance learning or the emergency remote education or the emergency remote learning. The emergency remote learning or the ERL is an unplanned and sudden shift from the traditional form of education into a remote one following the state of emergency in different countries due to COVID-19. It took months until the different way of learning was implemented due to a keen of deliberation. Everyone was skeptical about how does it work and what should everyone do, especially here in our country, who many were a bit late in knowing the technology, and not everyone were lucky enough to get the knowledge about it. Some issues, however, are raised because of the emergency remote education and countries has their own way to take actions with such issues like digital device, environmental background, internet connections, and etc. Here in our countries, there are some cities that were providing materials to be used by learners like a battery radio which was distributed in some remote places. Some social media influencers also distributed a gadget for, to be used in online learning for those who can't afford to have one. Some areas were provided with internet connections. And I wonder why Samal Island doesn't have one. Kidding aside, according to UNICEF, out of 127 countries with data, five methods were used for the emergency remote education, like the absent website, self-learning, TV programs, radio stations, and paper-based responses with take-home packages. In most cases, countries adapted more than one approach to cater the needs of all students from different socioeconomic backgrounds. Here's the two types to attend classes in this time of pandemic. First, the synchronous class, wherein students need to go online at a specific time to attend classes. And asynchronous classes where content is available for students to go through their own convenience and independent assignments where students were provided with tasks to compete independently. All of this happened through the use of platforms like Google Classroom, Google Meet, Zoom, Facebook Messenger, and many more. Indeed, education is the key to success. And no matter what will come in our way, education is a must and we should not back down just like that. We need to apply full courage for success that will come in our way. Once again, thank you.